What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're stepping aside from the meta teams using a nice lovely off meta team that features Cerule Edge and Decidueye. You guys already know the deal, if you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my content. Considering the Teal Mass DLC comes out very, very soon, so we're going to be showcasing a bunch of brand new Pokemon on the competitive ladder, so you do not want to miss out. But Cerule Edge is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview, one of the coolest Pokemon in Generation 9. With Flash Fire and a Clear Amulet as its item. It's rocking Shadow Sneak with Bitter Blade for Stab, Protect, and then it's also rocking Alex, which, which is a really cool move that can throw off your opponents. In our second slot, we got the one and only Flutter Mate with Protosynthesis and the Booster Energy. It's got Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Protect, and Substitute to set up that Substitute. In our third slot, we got Iron Valley, one of the cooler looking Paradox Pokemon in the game with Quark Drive and the Focus Sash as its item. It's got Close Combat, Spirit Break, Protect, and Wide Guard to protect ally Pokemon from double hitting moves. In our fourth slot, we got Galarian Moltres. Galarian Moltres is very, very strong, not only setting up Tailwind, but as a great special attacker as well. It has Berserk to give it a plus one special attack boost when its HP falls below half. It has the Citrus Berry to recover some HP when its HP falls below half. And it's got Fiery Wrath, Air Slash, Protect, and Tailwind for speed control. In our fifth slot, we got Storm Drain Gastron, a great Pokemon when going up against any water type Pokemon. It's got Storm Drain, it's got Leftovers as its item, Rock and Earth, Power, Ice Beam, Protect, and Yawn. In our final slot, we got the one and only Decidueye with Long Reach and the Scope Lens as its item. It's got Shadow Sneak for first turn priority, Leaf Blade for some big time damage, Spirit Shackle for another stab big time damage hitting move, and Protect for its fourth and final move. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with his Cerule Edge and the Sidui Regulation D team. First match is on its way, and we're going up against a Trick Room team with Fluttermane, Arcanine, Corselia, Amoongus, and then they're rocking out with Iron Hands and Ursa Luna, two Pokemon that are very strong within Trick Room. But since they have a Trick Room squad, I kind of want to bring in the slower Gash on here. Could be very, very powerful because it is bulky and it is slow. So if they're going to pop Trick Room, we kind of get after it that way. So I'm all about it. I am all about it. But who should I lead and how should I get after this one? I'm thinking maybe just a nice little Fluttermane, because if they are going to set up Trick Room, I could definitely just pop a nice little substitute and try to get that Pokemon set up. I want to see the Sidious speed real quick. 134, which is decent. But I'm thinking of leading also this Pokemon right here. Nice little Moltres could be solid for us. We could set up Tailwind if they're not going into Trick Room. And then from there, we can really get after it. Especially because they do have Arcanine. I really don't want to uh, go any of my physical attackers. But I could go in with you. Not bad, but I kind of want to. I kind of want to go. Would rather go with this Pokemon, so I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna bring Gastron in the back end, like I said. And then last but not least, do we go in with the Sidui or Cerule Edge or even Iron Valley? Let me see you with Iron Valley. You got the Focus Sash, which I like. You also have Spirit Break and Close Combat, but the Sidui, really cool Pokemon. I like the Sidui. Maybe actually, mm, maybe I should have led the Sidui, but it's all good. It's all good. I'm going to end up bringing this to you. I'm trying to showcase this Pokemon in match number one. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves one here. But uh, something I did not mention in the team preview is I am looking for brand new rental teams for me to showcase on my YouTube channel featuring the new Teal Mass DLC Pokemon. So if you guys have teams or if you guys want to make me a team, make sure you guys send them over on my Twitter DMs. Link is down in the description below. If you do not have Twitter, uh, send them in the uh, YouTube comments, but I'd rather you guys send them over on Twitter. Looking for all types of teams. Any new Pokemon you guys can make a team with, I would love to get my hands on them and showcase them in the YouTube video. So, if you guys are interested in that, like I said, send me your guys' team. But Fluttermane's going to get the lead alongside with my bird, and then they got Crest and Iron Hand. So, I could go Shadow Ball, but I, I definitely see like a Terror type coming out here. So, I'm thinking of just setting up the Substitute. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for the sub. And I'm just going to go for a fiery path. Because then I, get a, I could get a fun chance. But he's going to fake out in terror, I believe. I think that's that's their plan. So instead of just going into a shadow ball and doing some big time damage. I think we're just going to read the terror here. And we're just going to set up a substitute for our fun. That is going to be our play. Considering we're pretty high up in the master tier. I'm kind of expecting people to make better plays. I'm top 2,000 right now. So... We've been doing pretty good this season. And he ends up just withdrawing Crest. 
That's fine by me. I still set up the sub. So Iron Hands is chilling here. Are you going for the fake out on the Iron Hands? I am curious. Maybe he thought I was setting up a protect. Don't know. I think he's actually taking out my bird. Don't really like that. Maybe we get a flinch here. This fire bass can come out here. Let's have a chance to flinch, but it's gonna do like five damage. You get a flinch by chance? No, we should gonna wild charge and he's can't use that, right? No, I survived. That's that's massive. That's pretty that's a pretty solid turn for us here. That's a pretty that's a pretty decent turn for us here. Because we get that plus one uh boost, and on top of that, we get that uh that citrus berry HP. And then we have substitute set up. I'm cool with that. So maybe they thought my Flutterman was gonna go for Trick Room to cancel out their Trick Room. No, we just set up the sub all day. So what I'm thinking here is Ursa Luna is guts. It's ready to roll out here, but I'm thinking to just double down to Iron Hands here. And the reason I want to double down to Iron Hands is because I just want to get rid And I believe we can't get rid I'm not too worried about the Ursa Luna, especially without Trick Room. So I'm just gonna go after the Iron Hands. Plus Ursa Luna has a chance of protecting here. Knowing that Pokemon is like a huge threat, usually, usually you would target down the huge threats. So I would think they might have a chance of protecting it. And then we ends up just withdrawing or something. So that's totally fine by me. That's totally fine by me. We're doubling down to Iron Hand slot. You going back into Crest? You are going back into Crest. So Moonblast is going to come out here. We still have substitute set up in the front, which is massive. And we're just going to KO from there. That's beautiful. Fluttermane picking up the KO. Air Slash is going to slide over. It's going to do some damage on the crest. Air Slash is going to miss. Did we just miss it? How are we missing Air Slash? It's like, come on now. I'm the only person on the, U on the YouTube scene that's missing Air Slashes. Come on now. Air Slash is really missing. Amoogus is going to come out here. Okay, now they're just going to try to set up the Trick Room. And I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball alongside with the Air Slash. Or do I just go Fiery Wrath? I'm just going to go Fiery Wrath here. I feel as he has to Terra one Pokemon, right? And I feel like it's going to be Amoongus. I think Amoongus gets a Terrier. And no, they just canceled battles. So that was just a weird one. But we end up sweeping with Moltres and Fluttermane. Match number two on its way. And that first one was a weird one. We ended up sweeping when I wanted to try to use some off-meta Pokemon. But we'll, we'll handle that situation in match number two and in match number three. We're going up against Rillaboom and Heatran with Furbrigger Wrath. And then Iron Bundle, who is such a good Pokemon. Ursa Luna, if they want to pop the Trick Room. And then Grimmsnarl for potential screens. That annoys me. That annoys me. So I kind of want to go into my crit user, right? If they're going to set up screens, I'd rather get some crits off. So I'm going to go into you. And you're part ghost type, aren't you? Yeah, that's lovely. That is lovely. So I'm going to go into you. And on top of that, I'm also going to go into Fluttermane here. I like Fluttermane. I do like Fluttermane. So if they go Rillaboom, we can have that nice, lovely grassy terrain with Leaf Blades going off. Could be big time. Could definitely be big time. And then as back-end Pokemon, I think Gastrodon could be pretty solid. It is super effective onto a few of these guys. But the problem is going to be Freeze Dry on Iron Bundle, and that just scares me. It really does. So maybe we just go into... I think we gotta bring Iron Valiant here. Right, do we bring Valiant? Yeah, I can get down with some Valiant. So I'm gonna bring Iron Valiant, and then back-end... Last but not least, actually... I kind of want to lead the bird. I do not want to lead the bird. I'll bring bird back in. That'll be my play. That'll be my play. Because I am fairly almost certain they're either go Grimmsnarl or Rillaboom. I feel like it's either or. So I feel as with this lead, the double ghost type could be pretty solid for us. I can either set up a substitute if they're going for fake outs. Or I could just get after it that way. But yo, that trainer card's sick. It's just good old Basharp. You never see on the rank ladder anymore because of King Gambit. Looking out into the distance. It looks dope. But out comes Rillaboom and Frit Wrath. So no first turn priority moves for me. But my grass moves are going to be hitting like a truck. Like an absolute truck. But I think from here is just a simple sub setup, right? Did we set up sub? I believe we set up sub. I believe we set up sub. I'm going to go for a Leaf Blade here. I really like Leaf Blade and the damage output it can do. And I really like a substitute setup here. They could potentially set up Trick Room, but I'm just going to set up a nice little sub. Nice little sub getting after it. Leaf Blade's gonna get cooking here. Doing a big time amount of damage with the crit and all the boosts. So Wood Hammer is coming into the slot. That's fine by me. And are you setting up Trick Room, Mr. Revolution? Potentially. Probably, right? Probably. And I might have to swap for me if that's the case. And I think that's happening. I wish I had Imprison on this thing. Yeah. The Trick Room comes out and about. Um. Hmm. And from here, 
We know Woodhammer will KO this. So do I hard swap into maybe like the burn? I think that's our play, because I'm gonna go Leaf Blade here and I'm thinking of just hard swapping into the burn. Yeah, I'm cool with that. So we'll start to try to waste out some tricking turns. I probably should just protect it this turn, just to waste out some more tricking turns and then uh, go from there. But he's gonna end up withdrawing the Fury Grab, so going into probably the Heatran. Yeah, that thing's a little scary. Heatran is definitely a little scary. And we'll go from there. That's the problem. I really want to bring Gashadon, but them having it really is just such a huge threat. So Woodhammer's gonna come in this slot. We beat that all day, and we're able to soak that. So I get off a big time soak. Leaf Blade's gonna fly over to the Heatran slot. It's gonna do negative five damage. God dang, this one's gonna be tough because both these Pokemon are pretty much back up to full HP with the Grassy Terrain helping out. So I mean, I do have Water Tower, which is probably my best play. And I think just going into Spirit Shackles is a good play for us. So I'm gonna go after, I'm gonna target down Rillaboom here and I'm just going to protect the Moltres. Actually, I'd rather target them to Heatran. Heatran's just such a threat. So I'm just gonna go Spirit Shackle into Heatran, and I'm just gonna protect the Moltres. Did I? Oh, did I forget the Terra again? Oh my lord! I hate when you go back. It stops the Terra, and now I am losing my Decidueye. Oh my lord! I wanted the Terra all along. Oh my god! I hate this game, man. I hate this game. Just lose my Decidueye like that. Come on, game. Why you gotta be like that? Why you gotta be like that? Why do you have to be like that? Seriously, why do you have to be like that? I really wanted that. I knew the heat waves coming in here. I could have had my boy for a little bit longer. Everything would have been pretty. And now I am forced to go into Iron Valiant. So I'm going to go Valiant here. I'm potentially just going to wide guard the shot. If I had to guess heat waves coming out here. And if they're going to go into a Pokemon, they could go back into Frigraph or maybe even Ursaluna here. That's, dude, that just sucks, man. I'm just going to go Wide Guard. And I'm just going to Air Slash this slot. Oh my lord. So many problems. You're going for Heat Wave? Show me you're going for Heat Wave. Wood Hammer's going to rip into me. I do have Sash, which is big. I live on 2 HP regardless. And you're going for Heat Wave, please? Thank you. Cool. So, we're starting to... Trudge your way back here. You get the heat wave block, and air slash should be able to finish off this real move. Cool, it's landing. And no, it doesn't it does not. So double protect definitely our play. We gotta we gotta get back in action here. And we'll go from there. So protect and protect, and then we'll close combat the heat trend potentially next turn. Okay. Oh my lord, man. Yo, I wanted my decision so bad. We would, be, we would be sitting in such a better position, but... You know, sometimes sometimes you do yourself dirty. And now now is the time for me to do it. Here's the soul. So I was hitting hard with that Leaf Blade, and Spirit Shackle would have did a nice chunk of damage onto Rillaboom. All that good stuff. But he ends up just hard swapping the Rillaboom, probably going back into Frigraph. No, he's going to go into Ursuline here. And I'm going to go into Frigraph here. It's a real question. But I'm gonna double protect and they still haven't terror. And I'm hoping they don't because at this point I can just close combat somebody. The real question is who do I close combat? Who do I close combat? Probably. Probably the Heatran, right? Heatran's just a threat all around. The Trick Room's gone. Grassy Terrain's gone. I doubt you're going to EQ. I doubt you're going to Heat Wave. I do have Wide Guard, which is lovely. But I'm just going to close combat to go after you. But on top of that, I could go Terra Fire, but I want to keep my Flying tight. I'm going to save my Terra for Fairy for big time damage. So from here, I'm just going to go Fire Wrath. There's a nice little punch chance on that. Plus, we'll get off some extra damage. I'm cool with that. And I wonder who you're going to Terra. I wonder who you're going to Terra. You gotta terrestrialize one of them here. Just go out to be one of them. Let's see, because close combat can be major threat. A major threat. So here comes one terror. Show me Ursaluna. Please and thank you. 
it is our Selena. So close combat's gonna go after Heatran. It is a ghost tower, so good thing we went after Heatran. Heatran might be protecting here too, which could be a problem, but I'm gonna hope not. I got fingers crossed for it. It's not, cool. Fingers crossed for it. So close combat finishes off the Heatran, and now, oh, and now we're, uh, our Fire Wrath will be super effective into that. So that's big, that's big, that's big. It's big, it's lovely. Give me a flinch here, too. Fire Wrath, massive damage. We love it. He's gonna facade me. Oh. Facades and KO. Okay, so facade comes out, picks up the KO. We can now go into Fluttermean. And we'll see who they go into. Because Fluttermean, I got the Terror. I can do some big time damage with Moonblast. And Chance are we're probably fast on the field. But look at this. We're trying, to, we're trying to make the comeback happen. Frigoraph comes out. Okay, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with Frigoraph coming out here. Because Spirit Break will definitely KO you. So I'm going to Spirit Break you, and then Terrastalizing and going into the Midwest will finish off. Whew. It's a good match. It's a good match. It's a good match. I'm basically 3D formed because my decision why I died out pretty easily. I mean, it did do some nice damage on the Frigoraph, but I should have had it for later. I think this match would have been 10 times easier. If I would have just remembered when I when I clicked back the switch's move to uh to go into uh Terra again. Cause I, I know I terror clicked it and then I went to the Moltres' moves and then I went back to the decision why moves which cancelled out the Terra. But Ursula is just gonna end up protecting. That's totally fine. The Moonblast is gonna fly here. Oh Spirit Break actually was first. <coughs> and now Moonblast is gonna be cooking. It's gonna KO for the graph. So. Cool. I'm guessing they were trying to pop another trick room or something like that. Or just going for maybe like a hyper voice. I don't know. Psychic. You never know. Oh, cool. That's a big time KO. And now he's gonna go into their final Pokemon, which is going to be Rillaboom for Fake Out Spin. Um, I feel as we just double down our saloon here, right? Yeah, it's their best bet, because if you fake out you fake out one of them, then at least the Ursaluna dies out here. So I'm just gonna keep spamming Moonblast. I'm gonna double down to Ursaluna. He can't protect again. And I feel it's the only way he can win is if he's got the Moxie to go for a double protect and then like a wood hammer, right? But yeah, fake out into the Iron Valiant. That's fine by me. Actually, oh, we might lose this one. This one's actually gonna be close. This one's gonna be close because is Rillaboom still at full HP? That's the real question. Is Rillaboom still at full HP? Because Woodhammer's. Oh, that's scary. It's scary in the terrain. How much HP are you at? Because I know you use a Woodhammer or two. Oh my god, yeah, we can KO all day. That's fine. That's totally fine. So Moonblast's gonna come out here. And maybe I should have subbed here. Nah, we're fine. Don't overthink it. Moonblast should move to KO. I was gonna say if he protects, but a lot of Rillaboom's don't want with protect. Plus this Moonblast, able to do enough damage. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. A tough, hard-fought match number two. We end up coming out on top. 2-0, let's go hop to our third and look for that perfect record. Third and final match on its way. Your boy is sitting at 2-0, and I would love to use the Sidui in this third and final match. We're going up against an Iron Hands team with Pelipper and Bashka Legion. Really, really tough combo. Storm Drake Ashton, probably going to be a good friend of ours in this matchup. So I am going to go into him. But I don't know if I'm going to lead. They also have Gudra. They have Landorus. And they're also rocking out with Crest. So I'm going to lead, I think, double ghost typing with Fluttermane and Decidueye. And in the back end, bring Storm Drake Ashton. And I believe I would like Moltres. Do I want Moltres? Kind of. A little bit? Maybe. Or would I rather have Valiant? Hmm. I think I'm gonna go Valiant here. Valiant's got that the, the fairy moves. It's got the uh, the close combat that will be super effective onto the uh, the Gudra. I think I like Valiant here. But yo, we're two and zero. And I think the past two videos. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. But I think the past two videos we went three and zero. So this could be a th three time in a row. Three and zero. Three three and zeros in a row. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. I, like I said, I could be wrong. Yeah. I forget. But Gudra alongside with Pelipper's gonna come out here. So the rain's gonna get cooking. You can't hit me with no body presses, but you could have heavy slam. Or you could have flash cannon. Slight issue, slight slight issue. Uh I think I might set up a sub here, but you might just start defense boosting. 
What else can I do? At this point, I could go Terra Winter, which I don't really want to. But I'm just gonna go Spirit Shadow. And I'm just gonna double down on this thing. I'm going right after Gudra. Gudra's just such a big threat. So it's, it's a bit too big of a threat. Especially the thing just getting set up like that. We just don't want that happening. You know, I believe you are gonna go for Hurricane Enemy. Which kind of scares me, but going into Spirit Shackle here, Shadow Ball, we get off some big time damage, which we love. Hurricane is going to come into this slot, and I'm going to die, but it's fine. Probably should have terrored there. Probably should, probably should have thought out a little bit more, but the CGY gets ripped easily in Regulation D. A bit too easily, and Muddy Water's cooking. That's some nice damage, but should be thriving here. So from here, I could go... I'm going to go in with you. I am going to go you, and on on this play, I am just going to... I think I'm just going to protect... Actually, I'm not going to protect. I was going to say, I could have earned power. How fast? I don't think you're faster than Gujar, which is a little bit of a problem. Actually, actually, Muddy Water would still hit me. But I'm just going to do that, and I'm just going to throw a nice little Moon Blast into the... into the Pelper slot. The Moon Blast is going to get cooking here. It does a insane amount of damage. Almost KOs. Of course, this thing's not Sash. If I would have that the thing would have been dead. It eats up the Citrus Berry. Hurricane's gonna be flying here. And that actually did a lot of damage. Of course you get the Ducks, man. Not the Ducks. Not the Ducks. Muddy Water's gonna come out here. I'm gonna get the Storm Drain boost, but you are gonna still hit my Flutter Man, which kind of, it's kind of lame, right? That's kind of lame. That's, that's really lame. I don't like how it does that. But it'd be like that. And watch, watch this. This is gonna, this is gonna be the worst part of the whole match. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurt myself with confusion here. I get it, game. I get it. You don't want me to have a 3-0 perfect record. I understand. It's cool. It's fine by me. Ah, this game, this game, this game. Hurts soul. So from here, what is our play? What is our play? Cause this one's gonna be a bit tougher. Earth power for sure. I'm just gonna get rid of Pelper. I don't wanna get swept here. I know I'm gonna lose this one. Spirit Break coming in hot here. Do a little bit of damage onto you. Can you potentially miss a Muddy Water into my Valiant? Because I know you're still going for Muddy Water. Yeah, I know you're still going for it. Can you miss this? I know I have Focus Sash, but still, I'd rather be at full HP. <gasps> Let's go. Let's go. Hold Yo, I need you landing these shots. Good. Or not Gudra. Gashon. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So we get a big time dodge, so we're still in this fight all day. My Gastron is plus two. Plus two, count them, one, two. This could be big. Plus we get some leftovers HP. <coughs> so we're back up to half. If, Ga if Gastron get off another turn, they could easily one shot a Pokemon. So if I had to guess they have Bastion Legion and this is gonna be Lanners. Right, Bastion Legion gonna come out here? Yeah, it is. So Tim it's gonna come out here. A little tough on us. And how many turns are left in the rain? So we, again, we are not sitting in a good spot. Two turns left in rain, and I'm still confused. Do I go for potentially yawn? Because we maybe have to yawn here. Who would I rather yawn? Magic Legion, probably. Actually, I can one shot. I can one shot you all day if I land this. So I'm gonna do that. I have Terra Ghost. What's your Terra? I'm gonna Terra you, Ghost. And oh, no, I'm just gonna go Spirit Break. I'm gonna Terra the Gash on Ghost. And you're gonna also Terrasalize. It's probably Lando. Kinda hurts the soul. And yeah, it is Lando. What type of cooking? You're still flying. Okay. They're still flying. We are going to go in the ghost typing, which really doesn't help us. I just feel like changing our typing could have been big. Just to throw off our opponents a little bit. But maybe I should have changed it into the Valiant. Because ghost typing doesn't really work good in both my Pokemon are ghost typing right now. Maybe I should have just yawned. We'll see what they end up doing here. I guess just Specs can come in here. And that just makes everything worse for my Gudra. I think Gudra was dying to that regardless, but that's kind of funny. The Gudra's dropping out. Now, why do I keep calling it Gudra? Gashadon. 
dash stun drops out here. And Bash is going to lose some HP. Terra Blast can come in here, and yeah, that, this is who we should terrestrialize. Even though two, like, two of these were KOing us regardless. We sash up, and yeah, this, this it's wraps. It is wraps. It is wraps. I knew we were losing this one. Ever since the beginning, the Gudra was just too much for us to handle, and Pelper was doing some work. So I'm going to run this one. We go 2-1. and one. We grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, a 2-1 winning record for today's video. Didn't really get to showcase this CGI. It's just such a tough Pokemon to use in the meta, especially in a high rank in Master Tier. It just gets ripped on like you guys seen today, but the rest of the team was really fun. You got the Valiant, you got the Gastron, you got Cerule Edge, Fluttermane, and Moltres rocking out. And like I said, 2-1, cannot complain. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.